Hello students. Let's start with one more new session of chapter 7 introduction to visual basic. Now in our previous session you have studied about the visual basic window. What is visual basic? What are the different components of visual basic window? You have also studied about the different toolbars used in visual basic window. In those toolbars, you have studied about Project Explorer window also and about Properties window also and what are the contents inside the Properties window. Now in this session, we are going to learn few new topics that is first we are going to learn about Toolbox. What are the various controls in Toolbox? How we are going to save the Visual Basic project, how we are going to create new application in Visual Basic and how we are going to execute it. Now let's start with the Visual Basic Toolbox. Now as you can see the picture of our toolbox is present here. In this toolbox we are having so many controls already given. The pictures of all the controls are given in the toolbox. Toolbox in Visual Basic basically contains a set of controls that are used to place on form at the time of designing the form. That means when we start designing the form, then we are in need of several controls to execute our program. And those set of controls can be provided through the toolbox. As you can see, like First is the picture box control, then we have the pointer also, then we have the label also, then we have the text box, similarly we have the command button and then we have option buttons, combo box and similarly we have so many controls present inside the toolbox. These controls are used in different type of programs as per the need of the program. Now there are some important controls of toolbox which we need often like we have the label box control. Label box control is basically used to display information to the user. Label is like a heading like if you want to give the heading to your program or if you want to label something then if you want to display something for the user then we can use the label box control. Secondly, we have the text box control. This is a very useful control students. This particular control is used to receive input from the user as well as used to display the output also. Any program input can be taken from the text box. For example, any name, any number can be taken through the text box and to display the output or to display the result also text box is needed. Then we have the command button control. Command button control is also very important control because without the command button control no program will be able to execute in Visual Basic. This command button control is used to execute commands when a user clicks on it. Basically this button is used to display the result or to display the output or to display any message in Visual Basic. Now next we are going to see what are the important steps to create first Visual Basic project. Now students if we talk about the steps to create an application in Visual Basic or to create a program in Visual Basic then we have three main steps. The first step is designing the form. That means, first of all, we need to design according to the program what is our need. What is the things involved in designing the programs? What are the controls needed? Once the designing is complete, then we come on to the coding part. Coding means writing down the commands for the program. Once the coding is complete, then we need to execute or run the program. Execution means running the program for displaying the output. 
So these are the three main important steps for the visual basic project. Now we are going to see all these things practically in our next Okay students, now let's start with Visual Basic Practicals. Now to start Visual Basic, first of all we need to click on Start Menu. Search for Microsoft Visual Studio 6.0. Click on it. Then click on Microsoft Visual Basic 6.0 option. As soon as you click on Microsoft Visual Basic 6.0 option, this window will get opened in front of you. Now you can see the new project window in on your screens. From there, already standard EXE option is selected. We only need to click on open. As soon as you click on open, you will get a window like this. Now you can see two windows over here, students. One is the window with the white background and inside that window, we have a window with the dotted background. We can also increase or decrease the size of the window by dragging the margins like this. Now this dotted window is known as the form layout window. This is the window where we have to place our controls from the toolbox. Toolbox is coming on the left hand side. Property window on the right hand side, project window also on the right hand side and above it we have the menu bar and the toolbars. This one is the toolbox. Now from here just if you keep your mouse on each and every control like this one is the label box, text box control, command button control, picture box, option combo box, list box like this. So these are all the different controls in our Visual Basic window. Now if you need to say for example if we have created any application we can simply save it by clicking on file, save project as and then it will be asking the name of, of our file. We can give the name by default it comes as form 1. We can give any name. And then we can click on save to save our project file. All the Visual Basic projects get saved by the extension .frm because these are all the form files. So this way we can create and right now we have not created. In our next session students we are going to create one simple program and then we can save it also. Till then, goodbye students.